Hey folks, welcome back to Manistel Key. Just in the process of treating the uh, plywood for the boat floor that we were working on there before. Anyways, this is 100% fiberglass resin, not thinned. Um, I was going to thin it initially and decided not to. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. We'll see how it works. But uh, anyways, other than enjoying the fiberglass fumes here, we're getting this done. And uh, as you can see, it uh, sinks into the wood pretty quickly. Uh, we will seal all the edges yet. But uh, as you can see, I'm using a low nap. Well, it's just a little sponge roller. Um, anything with high nap, it, it, all it does is soak up all the resin and it's gone. So use this, this guy. He rolls a little bit better and spreads it out a little bit better. I try not to wear this fiberglass. And as you can tell, I'm bringing it out pretty good. Basically, like I said before, is it uh, treats the fiberglass or the wood in a manner, basically turns it harder and makes it waterproof a little bit more so than just some other, you know, paint or something. So, so other than getting all the coverage on one side here, we'll do it same thing on the other side, and it turns it like you say, it'll it'll turn this stuff into almost a rock. And then we'll put the carpet on top, screw her down, and treat all the spots with the screws so that you don't end up with soft spots in the wood. And uh, Bob's your uncle. I don't think I have an uncle, Bob. But anyways, he might be your uncle. So this is what we'll do. Yeah. Okay, so one thing. I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video. The plywood we're using is good one side. So, of course you wanna have the good, the good side up. And uh, it doesn't, makes for a smoother surface to put the uh, fiberglass down. And I'm carrying on here, I may have started too much risk here, but we'll see if we can get her out. It wasn't taping that. That's right. You're on now. stuff how do you treat the screw holes after you glue the carpeting down uh you put this you put your hole in and then you give it a squeeze of silicone into this in like where you're going to put the uh, screw i see and then put the screw back come do this end just a bit yeah. You're going to thin the fiberglass and read the container, find out what it says. And I think there's differences between the resins, like the manufacturers. So you want to make sure you've got the best stuff for what you're dealing with. If you do thin it, it rolls a little bit easier. But 
also makes it a much more potent <laughs> mixture. Don't do this in closed space. I'm sure it says somewhere on the label. <laughs> closed spaced or not, it's good stuff. <laughs> Ever used up. Good thing. You are thinning it you don't want to thin it any more than like five percent if you feel lucky you might get away with ten but i wouldn't go there and the very top edge above the biscuit there you go Closed space, the garage door is wide open. All right, I'll show you. You can take a look around there. Don't mind the mess. There we go. Cool. All right, I'm gonna get this clean enough. You can almost use it again. I might end up doing that. We'll see. We'll probably just be able to flake off the resin so that we can. Clean it off and off and use it again. Roller, it's garbage. Cool. All right, folks. We'll talk to you in a little bit.